Are you worried about the state of uh, security in your state? Uh, Army is thinking of deploying over 2,000 soldiers for election alone in Imo State. That is worrying, isn't it? Uh, one of the governorship uh, candidates, the PDP governorship candidate, was quoted to have said that Imo is gradually becoming a Boko Haram state. That is alarming, isn't it? Well, I must tell you, uh, uh, Shem, a candidate or PDP candidate who spoke that he wants to be the governor of Imo State so that he can make Imo safe again. But uh, I want you to put it on record that this young man has been going around campaigning in Imo State from one local government to the other and has never been molested one day. And put it on record again that since 2021, when insecurity started in Imo State, none of his colleagues, no member of his party, no member of his campaign organization or political family has been attacked or killed. 90% of those who have been killed are APC members. Now, he is now making it clear that when he becomes the governor, insecurity will stop in Imo State and Imo will be safe again. Meaning that until he becomes the governor, he will not stop what he's doing now. That is making other members of the party, particularly APC, to die. I will stop at that, but think about it. Oh, but you have said in the past that uh, politics is largely behind the insecurity in your state. But then you have still not come out to name the names of those who are killing innocent people in your state. And you have inferred that other politicians, other than the ones in your political party, are the ones behind insecurity in the most state. Who are these people? Why can't you unveil them? Well, you know, I sit here as the governor. I've charged the security agencies in Imo State go after and fish out those behind the killings in Imo State. But it is not a coincidence that the majority of the people being killed are the, those in government. It is not a coincidence that many people that are being killed are members of my party, APC. It is not also a coincidence that only lately, only last month, prominent members of my party that participated in the last presidential election, that their houses are being attacked. Some traditional rulers that have sympathy for our party, their houses are being also attacked. So this attack of, or this kind of insecurity that is targeted on one political party alone, well, I, have, I continue to ask security agencies to tell me the reason behind it. When people now begin to campaign, and they are not saying that the governor of Imo State is not building infrastructure. They are not saying that the governor of Imo State is not performing. They are not saying that the governor of Imo State is not paying salaries. They are not saying that the pensioners are not being paid. But they are saying that when they become the governor, Imo will be safe again. Then, it, you know what that means? That's a child cries in the night. And today the devil is lying lifeless. So I want to maybe use your medium to plead with these people who are behind the killings in Imo State. Political violence, the violence in Imo State, naming and kidnapping of human beings in Imo State, in the name of politics, to stop. I said these times with that number, that the insecurity in Imo State is politically contrived. And those who are behind them, they know themselves. But I can bet you, in a few weeks' time, what we have deployed now will soon unravel those behind the community. Mm. And Go 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 Governor Uzodema, yeah. Governor Uzodema, there are those who are eyeing your seat, and they have sworn and, uh, and promised that they will chase you out of the government house. They will defeat you going into that election. Abga says they are ready. The PDP says they are coming back to power in Imo State. In fact, the Labour Party says it's going to come like a tsunami and sweep up Uzodema out of the government house. Do you think your party is in trouble in Imo State? Can you withstand this opposition coming your way in November 11? The mandate I have here is the mandate of the people of Imo State. If you want to chase a governor out, it's not by sponsoring killings. You want to remove a governor from his seat. 
It is not by burning houses of human beings. It is by coming to talk to Imo people, to vote for you on the day of election. As long as that is not being done, it is no longer democracy. A democracy is about the people. I don't have the mandate of an individual. I don't have the mandate of an opposition party. I have the mandate of the entire Imo people who voted for me massively. And from what is on ground today, and the political feelings and discussions here and there, I think I'm almost confident that Imo people will vote for me again.